Welcome to Mackey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. Coming to the problem statement, a square pyramid, 35 mm sides of base and 65 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base, which is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degrees. So looking at the problem statement, we can make a set of conclusions. The first one being the type of solid. So the type of solid given to us is a square pyramid. Next is the resting condition. It is resting on one of its edges of the base. Next, coming to the inclinations with respect to the HP and VP. So with respect to the HP, the axis is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. And with respect to the VP, the edge on which it is resting is inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degrees. So we are going to consider an entity which is not changing its geometrical dimension when it is inclined to the vertical plane and hence it becomes a non-beta angle problem. That is, you need not have to construct the beta angle here. So the angle theta and phi which is given to us in the problem statement itself can be considered for the construction. So now let us see how to draft the solution for this particular problem statement. So we shall go to the sketching window and select the line option and draw the xy line of thickness 0.18 mm. Let us annotate this line as x and y. Also the reference planes as vp and hp. Now we will draw the top view of the square pyramid. So since the square pyramid is visible in the top, the base of the pyramid is visible. Let us draw the square prism. So it is 35 mm, 35 mm. So now this is the bottom face of the square pyramid, which is measuring 35 mm on all the edges. So now we will draw the triangular planes from each of the edge all these triangular planes will intersect at the point of intersection of the diagonal that is the point of intersection of these two diagonals so this is the top view of the square pyramid so now let us annotate this so this is the corner a this is the corner b and this is the corner c and this is the corner d so this is the square pyramid a b c d with its apex o and then the center of the base of the pyramid being O1, which is resting on one of its edges AB on the horizontal plane that is HP. So now we shall represent the front view of this particular pyramid. So for that, let us select the projection line of thickness 0.13 and draw the projection lines until it is intersecting the XY line. So from the point of intersection of the two diagonals, let us draw this line, which is going to represent the axis line. So from here, we shall draw the axis line of length 65 mm. And here, let the line type be a chain line. So from here, let us draw the axis measuring 65 mm in length. And then complete the front view of the triangular face of the square pyramid. So from this point to this point, and then this corner so let it be a intermittent line not a continuous line and then let us complete the triangular face of the square pyramid in the front view now we will annotate this front view so we'll go to the text option so this is o dash which is the axis point and then this is o1 dash which is the center point of the square face of the pyramid in the bottom so this is o1 dash and this is the corner b dash which is visible and a dash which is not visible inside the bracket next this is the corner c dash and this is the corner d dash which is not visible and it has to be inside the bracket so now we will go for the next condition which states that the axis of this pyramid is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle of 45 degrees. So for that, we shall select the front view of the pyramid along with all the edges on the center line and the annotations. 
and then select the move option ensure the copy is on and keeping b dash a dash as the reference point move the front view of the uh, square pyramid towards the right hand side of the xy plane and place it and now we will see how to rotate this so the first point of rotation is b dash a dash and the second point of rotation is c dash d dash so we are going to tilt the pyramid in such a way that the base of the pyramid is inclined at an angle of 90 minus theta that is 90 minus 45 degrees which is 45 degrees so as per the problem statement the axis must be inclined to the hp at an angle of 45 degrees so now we will see if the axis is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees so just try to extend this line to meet the horizontal plane and measure this angle so you can just see that the axis is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees so we are going to tilt the base in such a way that the axis inclination is fulfilled so now we will draw the top view of the square pyramid when its axis is inclined to the hp at an angle of 45 degrees so now let us select the line option and select a projection line of thickness 0.13 and draw the projections so one important point to be considered in case of pyramids is the apex point shall never be considered as the farthest point for the observer it is only the corners on the bottom face of the square pyramid which shall be considered for deciding the farthest point so from d and a let us intersect the corresponding vertical projection lines and then from the point of intersection of the diagonals which marks the center let us draw the projection line so now let us draw the front or uh, the from the front view let us draw the top view of the square pyramid so when the observer is looking from this direction for him the farthest corner point that is seen here is b dash so from b dash it will be the hidden line so let us select a line of thickness 0 0.50 and then let it be a hidden line so from b dash to a dash this is how it will be the hidden line all the other lines will be the visible lines so use the point of intersection to mark the corner points and then from each corner join the apex so this completes the top view of the square pyramid when one of its axes is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle of 45 degrees so now you can just trim the projection lines which is not required so this has to be the axis line so we will just use the center line or the chain line to mark that as the axis line so select the chain line of thickness 0.13 so from this point to this point it is a chain line okay so you can also trim the projection line for this so that the hidden edges are visible properly okay so with this we complete the top view of the square pyramid so let us just okay uh, annotate the corners on the apex points so this is o and this point is o1 while well, this is the corner a corner b corner c and corner d so this is the second position of the square pyramid as per the given condition next in the next condition that is with respect to the vp he tells that the edge on which it is resting so it is resting on the edge ab and that is inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees so for this what we will do is we will construct a 30 degree line so select a line of thickness 0.13 and it will be a continuous line and from any arbitrary point on the xy line draw a line incline at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane so now on this 30 degree line let us ensure that this particular edge is going to be inclined so for that let us select the second position of the square pyramid so select all the edges so before we move it let us make this a rigid entity 
okay so when we go for making it rigid we'll consider even these projection lines so for time being i'll just delete this so now select the pyramid in its top view then make this a rigid set so it will accept and then this becomes a rigid set so now you can just continue drawing the projection lines so after having made it a rigid set now let us move this square pyramid and incline the resting edge to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane so select even the axis and then go for the move option ensure the copy is on and keeping a as the reference point place the point a or the corner a on this 30 degree line and now use the rotate option so the first point of rotation is the corner a the second point of rotation is the corner b and then you can just incline this particular edge on the x y line like this and we will just try to move this a bit downwards okay so now we can draw the front view of the square pyramid so let us draw the horizontal projection lines first and then from the corner A which is there on the XY line intersect the XY line then from corner B that is also there on the XY line then similarly from corner C intersect the corresponding horizontal projection then from corner D intersect the corresponding horizontal projection and then from corner O intersect the from the apex O intersect the corresponding horizontal projection line so use the trim option to delete the projection lines which is not required for our construction so now we will complete the view so before that let us draw one more projection line from O1 okay so now we shall complete the front view so for the observer when the observer is looking from this direction so for him the farthest corner point will be the corner A and not the apex O so as I told the apex O shall never be considered as the farthest distance for the observer okay so now select the line option of thickness 0.50 mm and then complete the pyramid so from A to B it is this and then let us select the dotted line from A to D next all the other lines will be the visible lines so join okay so this corresponding slanting uh, the slant edge from the corner a has to be the hidden line so convert this line to the hidden line select this and make this a hidden line So now we will do the annotation so this is resting on the edge a b so this is b dash and this is a dash 
and this is d dash and this is the corner c dash so the bottom plate of the pyramid is completely visible to the observer as the observer is going to look from this direction so from the corner a it will be a hidden line and this is the apex o and then we need to identify the axis line so this is o1 dash so now select the line option and select a chain line of thickness 0.13 mm so from o1 dash to o1 this is the axis line so this completes the projection of the pyramid as per the given condition we can indicate the direction of the projection lines using the leader option So with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement. So we have got a square pyramid which is having the edges measuring 35 mm and the axis measuring 65 mm resting on the horizontal plane on one of its edges that is AB and then the axis of the pyramid is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle of 45 degrees and then the edge on which it is resting is inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees. So with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement. Thank you all for watching.